Good morning. Once again, ma, yung buntag sa atong tanan, no? Ah, uh, karon nga buntag, no. This is their second Sunday na wala tay uh, singing. Tungod kay ang uh, wala na ko na state last week ang rason, we are minimizing ang kining crowd diri sa center. So, uh, gi tangtang lang sa nato para minus-minus ang exposure given na uh, increasing ang atong cases na no, diri sa Cebu. So, uh wala ang rason, no. Anyway, Worship is not just singing. Worship is in everything that we do. Even this morning, as we listen to this uh, word, no, gikan sa pulong si Ginoo, we are also worshiping. Amen. No, last week naghisgota about reasons to keep hoping. Padayon atong series entitled ECQ, no, essential Christian qualities, no, deepening our basics. Uh, di as a ginoo, basically aning uh, uh, series we're gonna talk about hope, uh, holiness, faith, and vision. Ining opat atong hisgutan aning nga series for this month. And uh, naghisgut na about hope last week, no? We talk about uh, reasons to keep hoping and uh, saan na ang atong heavenly inheritance. We have a heavenly inheritance and that is eternal life. No, the as a ginong Jesus Christo. And also the crown of life that uh, God has prepared for those who love Him, those who endure until the end. So we keep hoping there is an inheritance God has prepared for us that is kept in heaven for us uh, that is not going to be subject to decay. Amen? And we keep hoping because we don't go through testings for nothing. We don't grow, go through challenges for nothing. There is always an outcome, a positive outcome sa atong matagos sa kakinabuhi. And uh, we keep hoping because God's power is deposited in us. And for some, they were asking questions like, Kung sa dahil ng garrison, Pastor? <laughs> no? uh, tungod kay kanang uh, katong uh, gisgutan ako last week, I mentioned about garrison because the the... term uh, protected no diha sa first peter chapter 1 no ang gisgutan nato last week no is talking about it's the same term sa original word ang word nga garrison it's a military outpost no it talks about protection but the protection is from within no so there is a mali- military garrison god's power is deposited no diha sa imong kasingkasing diha sa imong kinabuhi that's why we keep hoping No, when when it feels like you're weak and and uh, uh, you're you're failing, no, God's power is deposited in you. Remember that. And money, no, na ginahimo ang ginoo. Everything you need to, everything that you need to endure, to conquer, to overcome is already in you. God has already deposited that, and that is because of your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, another nga, nga reason nato to keep hoping is the exalted Christ. Because Jesus reigns, we can keep believing. Because Jesus is enthroned, He is exalted. Because He sits on the throne, He sits on the right hand of the Father. We can keep hoping and we can keep believing. Amen? Uh, this morning, we are gonna talk about holiness. Padayuno na to itong text is 1 Peter chapter 1. But before that, let's pray. Mag-amboda. Our loving Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this morning once again. Salamat sa imong gihatag ka na mo na privilege and blessing to be able to hear your word. Karun nga kamuntagon, we thank you for this platform, God, that you have provided. That through this, we can still connect, we can still uh, uh, be a community, and we can still communicate with each other, and we can still hear your word, O oh God, through this platform. We bless you, Lord. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. In this place, we welcome you sa among matagos sa kapanimalay. May you speak to us. Ikaw man ang among teacher. Ikaw ang among comforter. Ikaw, Lord, ang mag-guide ka namo. Karoon nga kabuntagon. And we recognize that we are nothing without you. So, Lord, we open our hearts. We open our spirit. Diha kanimo in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, this morning, we're gonna talk about holiness. no? And uh, when you hear the word holiness, unsay mong santo po una, say mong una una. Kung holiness. Ang uban is most people, kung imong pang, imong shiran about holiness, most people, they automatically think of the things that uh, they, no, they can't do, no? Kanang 
Pag muingon ganit kang pagkabalaan, ang una masantop sa unahuna sa tao is ang ka ng mga bawal. Mga dili, bu- dili dapat buhaton. But holiness is not just about the things you should not do. It's about doing what you should be doing. Ingon si Peter sa 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 13, ingon siya so prepare your minds for action and exercise self-control. Put your hope in the gracious salvation that will come to you when you when Jesus Christ is revealed to the world. So holiness is doing what we are called to do. Ingon si Peter, prepare yourself for action. Ingon siya, no, to be mentally alert, to be disciplined as we await the reappearing of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ingon si Peter, as no, as you prepare for the the No second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, you have to prepare mentally, prepare your mind for action. Does it mean nga, uh, no, mag-research ta, mag-study ta, that all needs to be, kuhan, dapat i-store na to sa itong una-una? No, it's more than that. No, so holiness it's about is about doing what we are supposed to be doing. No, so as we think of holiness, no, most times again, mag-isgot ag holiness, muragang una, masantop sa tuwang una-una. Mga bawal. But the Bible in our text today, in 1 Peter, it talks about something we must do. Living a life of holiness is not difficult. Dili siya lisod. Actually, impossible. It's impossible without the help of and the empowerment of the Holy Spirit no, sa atua. And um, when we face persecution, trials, or challenges, uh, we tend to panic and get distracted in the uh, We also, no, we we also can be rattled and, and and confused. That's why Peter reminds his readers to prepare their minds for action. Kasagaran mga Kristohanon, we compromise sa atong uh, atong standard, sa biblical standard, because usay we are being pressured, we are being confused, or or we are losing hope. No, in in moments of challenges and persecutions and trials, mo mo ni mo ni ingon si Peter. No, sa panahon ng ingon ani, we have to be ready. We have to be prepared, no? In mind, no? We are to be prepared for action, to be geared geared, geared up mentally. Then he states the motivation. The motivation to live a life of holiness, no? Ingon siya because we became children of God through Jesus Christ. Then here comes the challenge and the command. Ingon siya sa verse 15. But now you must be holy in everything you do, just as God who chose you is holy. Verse 16, for the scripture says, you must be holy because I am holy. So ani palang, there, there, there is a, a deeper theology in, 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 when it, we talk about holiness in these verses. So holiness is... Not just about the bawal. It's just not just about the things that we should not do. Actually, holiness is reflecting God's character. It's reflecting who God is. And I'll be talking about that later, no? So, sa, sa conclusion, so karon, no, maglinain ta, magsugod ta's conclusion, ah, sa kana. No. Ang conclusion na to, no? Holiness is reflecting who God is. It's reflecting his character. It's reflecting it's a reflection of what makes God God. Pinaagi sa tong matag sa kinabuhi. So this morning let's deepen our understanding of the no what holiness is all about. So mo na tong hisgutan. Let's continue to read our our, our text. Sa verse 17 ingon siya and remember that the heavenly Father to whom you pray has no favorites. He will judge or reward you according to what you do. So you must live in reverent fear. of him during your time here as temporary residence for you know that god paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your ancestors and if it and it was not paid by with mere gold or silver which lose their value it was the precious blood of christ the sinless spotless lamb of god god chose him as your ransom long before the world began but now in these last days he has been revealed for your sake. Through Christ, you have come to trust in God and you have placed your faith and hope in God because He raised Christ from the dead and gave Him great glory. 
You were cleansed from your sins when you obeyed the truth. So now you must show sincere love to each other as brothers and sisters. Love each other deeply with all your heart. For you have been born again, but not to a life that will quickly end. Your life will last forever because it comes from the eternal living word of God. As the scriptures say, people are like grass. Their beauty is like flower in the field. The grass withers and the flowers fades. But the word of the Lord remains forever. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. So, Again, this morning, let's talk about what holiness is all about. What holiness is all about? When we speak of holiness, on some day, eh? Now, in verse 17, Hinom do me that your heavenly Father, to whom you pray, has no favorites. In on he will judge or reward you according to what you do. And then, in on you must live in reverent fear of Him during this time here as temporary residents. Ingon siya, live in reverent fear. This means, on some reverent fear, this means a, no, a respectful fear, a deep appreciation of, of, of who God is. Kanang i-appreciate bitaw ni mo ang ginoo? Anang, you are in awe of who God is. That is reverent fear. Dili ni hadlock nga, oy. No, nga nang statement kasagaran sa uban nga, no, di lang ko di ha, oy, kamusang ko akong sungay. Karon, di nagyug ka ka, excuse, kamusang ko yung sungay. Kay, online naman. No, aramon kasi mong balay. No, wa nay sangko ay sungay ron. Right? But ingon siya, you have to live in reverent fear. No, so it is it it means no especially a realization that one whom we address as father, no, the one who we address as father is the same one who judges his children impartially according to their deeds. So holiness is appreciating who God is in our lives. No, so what what holiness is all about? Holiness is number one about it is about honoring God. Nemo tapad honoring God. No, holiness is honoring God as our heavenly Father, appreciating who God is. Atong matagos sa kakinabuy. It's a response of knowing that He is our heavenly Father, and that He will judge or reward us according to what we do. So he's a judge, he's a rewarder and a judge. When we understand that, when we know that, the, ang atong response, ang normal nga response dapat is to honor God, to appreciate Him as our Heavenly Father. Amen? As we honor our earthly fathers, we are to honor God. We are to live in reverent fear. Amen? So we should not assume no, nga, Ang atong privilege status as God's children gives us freedom to do whatever we want. We should not be spoiled children. But we sh we are to be grateful children who love to show respect to our Heavenly Father. Dapat ingon na nata dilita spoiled brat ng mga anak sa ginoo. No, we, we know how to honor our Heavenly Father. The blessing of being able to call God our Father is the greatest thing that we should celebrate as Christians. I believe it's the pinnacle, no? Sa Christianity, to be able to call God your Father. The God who created everything. The God who, no, who, who just spoke the word and, and bring everything into existence. The God who no, created the stars, the, the galaxies, the universe. The God who, who even no, put the stars in their place and, and, and know them by name is the same God you can call Father. That's amazing. Amen? But in response, sana dapat maghatang na sa tuwa og sense of no, kanang awe of who God is and magresulta na sa atong kinabuhi of honoring Him as who He is. Amen? This truth should encourage us Especially even in, in the midst of all these chaos, these trials, these challenges. Ngatong ginatubang, no? The fake news. Ngatong madunggan every day. We have someone we can call. We have someone we can trust. We have someone who accepts us. We have someone who loves us unconditionally. No, we have, we have someone who is able to do exceedingly 
abundantly above all we can ask or think. Someone who is in heaven, whom we can call Father. Amen? So we should, we should be encouraged by that. Nga pwede, na, pwede tang mutawag sa Diyos nga amahan. In fact, when, when Jesus was teaching His disciples to pray, this is how you should pray. Our Father who is in heaven. Bisan sa prayer daan, God, oh no, Jesus wants us to recognize God as our Father. And ingon siya, hallowed be thy name. So there has to be an honoring of, of, of because of that no truth that God has treated us as His children. We should honor Him in return. Amen? It is calling us to humble ourselves and to live in, to honor our Heavenly Father. Amen? And Peter gives another motivation why we should, we should no, honor our Heavenly Father. Ingon siya, you live, ingon siya sa last portion of verse 17, you must live in reverent fear of Him during your time here as temporary residence. Temporary rada yung residence dari sa kalibutan. No. Temporary ra yung Ang sana, imong residency, imong nationality. <laughs> no. If you can call God your Father, if you have trusted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, no. temporary running kalibutan ni mo. This world is temporary. The only thing that matters is the life after this. So we better be living in reverent fear, honoring God in our lives because ingon siya, God is just. No, He is the rewarder and He is the judge. He will judge or reward you according to what you do. Amen? So when we live in, no, let us, let us live in obedience to God, not because of the fear of punishment. The judgment is always part of it because God is just. But we align ourselves to Him. We do what He called us to do because we don't want to dishonor Him. Ingon nga ato siyang Heavenly Father. We don't want to hurt His heart. We don't want to hurt the heart of our Father. We don't want to offend our Father. No, as much as, no, even our earthly relationships atong amahan, kung suod bitaw tas atong Papa, we don't want to hurt them. We follow we obey their, 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 their sugo and commands. We obey them and we respect our earthly fathers because we don't want to offend them. We want to honor them. If we can honor our earthly fathers, all the more must be serving atong heavenly father to be honored. Amen? We don't want to live in defiance against our heavenly father. Therefore, no holiness is about honoring God. It's about honoring our Heavenly Father. No? Atong ni Aging Simana, nagisigot that we have a heavenly reward. Now we also have a Father in heaven. Therefore, no? Deserving lang, ato siyang i-honor. No? Again, ang, ang pagkabalaan, dili na nga, no? Mag, mag, di na ka maglingi-lingi, no? Pulo, puyo na kagkwiba. No? Di na ka maggawas-gawas, kihadlo kag COVID. No? Dili. <laughs> No, hardlo ka magkasala, no. Di na ka mag di na ka magig amigo, no. Ug piyong na lang ka pirmi. Ngayon sila kanang aron dili magkasala, magpiyong na lang. Bot bay basabot ang botaw ay sala. No. The point here is, no, it's not about nganang di na lang ka magig associate sa uban gay, no. Um, balaan ko. Ha, no, invite on. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> No, mag-meditate na lang ka, pirmi, balaan ka, no. Holiness is honoring God in the way we live. Honoring Him. Gana bitang nagsika nga dili, mapasubo ang ginoo. Amen? Na murag relationship ni mo sa imong earthly father or your parents, you want to honor them. No, because of, of what, no, not only of the things that they have done to you, but because they are your parents. The same way, ang ginoo, He is God. And He is our Heavenly Father and He is worth our, our honor. 
is worth honoring. Amen. And then in verse 18 to 20, ingon siya, For you know that God paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your ancestors. And it is and it was not paid with mere gold or silver, which lose their value. It was the precious blood of Christ, the sinless, spotless Lamb of God. God chose Him as your ransom long before the world began. But now in these last days, He has been revealed for your sake. We can live holy lives when we understand that we are precious in the eyes of God. We are brought, bought with a price. Not, we are bought not with silver or gold. Ganiingon siya, ma, ma, mawala kaya po ng value sa silver and gold. We are bought with the precious blood of Christ. The Lamb of God. The sinless, spotless Lamb of God. Ang gibayad no, ni Kristo sa ato ay isang iyang kinabuhi, ang iyang dugo. God ransomed us by the blood of Jesus. There is no excuse of not no offering our lives. Kaniya. No, so, buti pa sa butani, ingon si Peter, we don't own ourselves. God own us because He ransomed us. Gilokat tas gino, giridim tas gino through His blood. Gipalit na niya with a price. And therefore, no, if he, Jesus offered His life, walay rason nga kita po dili ka offer sa atong kinabuhi nga na sa gino. So, Another thing, no, what, what holiness is all about, holiness is about offering one's life to God. Offering one's life to God. Offering our life nga to sa gino. Amen? We cannot save ourselves from, from the, the coming judgment. No, we cannot save ourselves from, from hell. It's only through the life of the Son of God, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, the sinless, spotless Lamb of God, placing ourselves under His dominion and Lordship that we be saved by faith. Believing that He, no, what He, what he did on the cross is already enough for us. Amen? And when we talk about offering our lives, it's, it's a surrender as you know, that whatever happens, you know God, what God, I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna obey you. Because I already offered my life there, Nemo. Amen? No? Pasensya na mo sa akong hair. No. Wala na, di na usong barbershop ron. No? Mas taas daw o grist po according sa IETF ang mga barbershop. No? So, magtukod na kong barbershop. Bitaw. <laughs> Siyog lang. No? Uh, verse 20 says, God chose him as a ransom even before the world began. Meaning, so may buti pa sa buti, God has all been thinking of us all along. And we should take kanabit ng confidence sa ginoo, anang truth. That God has been thinking of us all along. Before the, no, before the beginning of time, God was already thinking of saving us. Hello. Amen. This no this is calling us to be confident as you know again we're living in a world right now we're living in a community ng grabe ka taas of grace. And no, no, no for some people they're taking it lightly yung sila adili na tinuod ng covid oy no buat buat ra nang gobyerno made in china na no murag they're thinking of conspiracy no if if dili na tinuod why why should people die right and no of course we should not live in fear no don't get me wrong what i'm trying to say is in the midst of all this chaos around us let us have this confidence the asigino you know, that he has ordered everything again the message of the cross is a a, a display of 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 the sovereignty of the lord nabe the the control of god sa atong ginabuhi no kung so review na review lang nato isguta nato last week kung katong gilansang si Jesus sa mata sa mga disciples it was all chaotic it was all a disaster in the eyes of all the disciples of all the followers of Jesus but in the eyes of God it was victory amen no so ingon siya 
God has, has, has chosen him, no? Even before the world began. Christ's sacrifice for our sins was not an afterthought. It is not something God decided to do when the world spun out of control. No. He planned it in His all-knowing eternal sovereignty. He planned on sa gino. Your life is no accident. Ang imong pagkaanak, ani nga kalibutan, your existence is not an accident. Nay plano ang gino. Of course naman tay choice, no? Gris do do gi, gi plano daan sa Ginoo wala po niya kuha sa tao ang choice mo na beauty sa gahom sa Ginoo sa sovereignty sa Ginoo He has given us the choice to offer our lives in response to his love towards us So holiness is not about don'ts no the bawal and dili pwedeng buhato no Holiness is about responding to the love of God offering ourselves diha sa Ginoo <clears throat> Excuse me po Bawal mo uburon, singan landa, no? Tibok barangay, mabalaka, kung uburon ta. No? Problema kay usong uburon. <laughs> no, anyway. No? So your life is no accident. He has you in mind as He offered His Son to die on the cross. Imagine ni mo, no matter how, how, no, kanang, how worthless we think we are at some point sa atong kinabuhi, no matter how insignificant we think we are sa mata sa ginoo. <coughs> Excuse me po. We are of worth. He was already thinking of you in His divine plan, in His eternal plan, in His sovereignty. When He sent His Son to die on the cross, He was already thinking of you. Amen. No, and it's calling us to offer our lives. Yes, you know. So he knew, no, it's the only way. Jesus did not give up on, on, on his way to the cross because he knew it's the only way for you and me to be saved. He was carrying that cross and he endured the cross. He conquered death. He conquered the grave because he was thinking of you and me. As he was carrying that cross, no, he was thinking of you and me. Imagine that. He laid aside his, his, his throne, his majesty for you and me. Gibiaan niya ang iyang trono sa langit just for you and me. That's how amazing God's love for us is. And rightful lang, ang atong response is to offer our lives to Him. Again, holiness is not about mga butang na dili dapat buhaton. Holiness is a response sa gugma sa ginoo sa tuwa. Amen? So take comfort in the fact that God always accomplishes His plan. No? Ani nga panahon karon we are in... in, in we are ang uban are living in despair they are living in worries and fear of their future no but taliwala ng tanan no god is sovereign he will accomplish his plan sa imong ginabuhi he will accomplish his plan Let's take comfort in that. Let's, let us offer our lives to Him. Let us surrender to Him. Make Him the Lord over your life. No matter how chaotic the world around us is, no, God is God and He will accomplish His plan. He has revealed no, to us. He has revealed Himself to us in these days. Ipakita sa gino. Ipadayag niya sa no sa tuwa kinsa siya ani nga mga panahon karon It's almost been four months No nga we have been in quarantine and hangtod karon God has sustained us God has sustained you Medyo apiki at times yes but the fact na buhi pa karon igso and that's worth celebrating and thanking God for amen Amen we cannot cope and endure in the challenges we face without recognizing our need of someone greater. 
the one who died for you, the one who ransomed you from death and destruction by his own life, by his blood, the one who loved you unconditionally and inviting you today to journey with him daily. My challenge is offer your life to him. You want to live in holiness? It's not about the bawal and the dili pwedeng buhaton. Holiness is about offering our lives. Amen. In verse 22, you were cleansed from your sins when you obeyed the truth. So now you must show sincere love to each other as brothers and sisters. Love each other deeply with all your heart. Holiness is displayed, as you look at this verse, holiness is displayed on how we treat other people. How we treat our you know, brothers and sisters in the Lord. By sacrificing his life, Christ showed you know, that he truly loved us. He sacrificed himself. He died on the cross to display how, he, how great is his love is for us. display na sa Ginoo. Now we can love others by following his example and giving ourselves sacrificially. No? Familiar ta sa John 3:16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him not perish will uh, but have everlasting life, no? God so loved the world. Tungod ana yang gihatag yang bugtong anak. If you know John 3:16, you ought to know 1 John 3.16. On say 1 John 3.16. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down His life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brethren. No, so God is expecting us to do the same. Holiness is displayed through loving others. So what, faith, what, what holiness is all about? Holiness is about honoring God, about offering one's life to God, and about it's about loving others. In in other uh, another sense, no having or, or belonging to a community will also help uh, us live in a, no according to the 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 call of God. Sa atong matagos sa kakinabuy, if there is no love for others, no if there is no community. Nga, nga na belong ta if we don't have a community that we belong to uh, maglisod ta o kinabuhi nga subay sa kabubuton sa gino we need our brethren no for us to live in accordance sa standards sa gino nga man masayo na siya tungod kinay accountability the exhortation to love one another is, is especially timely for a people undergoing challenges and pressures because it is well known that under conditions of hardships, trivial disagreement take an, a gigantic uh, proportions. In other words, mas daghan conflict every time nga uh, dunay pressure nga ginatobang. No? Mas dali tang mabikil Kung natay kung natay pressure gyud tumang mas dali tang mabikil kung stress ta tinood no testingi gani eh. dali kay ka ma-offend mas inaki ginato bang nga problema or nakay ginato bang nga pressure no kasagaran bikil motunga when there is something nga gina go through during during conditions of hardships no na diha ang trivial nga disagreement sa sa community sa sa Ginoo no so mo nang nag-encourage si, si Peter ingon siya love no each other deeply with all your heart there has to be a sincere love to each other as brothers and sisters o sayo ang holiness maghuna-huna tag holiness is just through no ah uh, uh, mga bawal mo ni mo na dili ni pwede buhaton dili na pwede buhaton no Holiness is also displayed in how we treat other people, how we treat our brothers and sisters in the Lord. Amen. No. Remember, no, sa gingon ako sa atong conclusion ganina nga naa sa Pirmiro, asa ah, gag conclusion nga naa sa Pirmiro. No. Holiness is a reflection 
of who God is. It is reflecting His character and God is love. So we must display love. Amen? Holiness is about no, displaying God through, through us no, on how we treat people. Amen? How we interact with other people, especially our brethren in the Lord. Amen? No, so, makita na, no, ang pagkabalaan, no, sa'yo, itong huna-huna is ka ng dili na maglain-lain ka, di na ka mag-apil-apil. No, sa'yo, di ay. No, ang holiness is uh, involving in the community. Holiness is loving others. So, holiness is connecting with, no, and, and reaching out to other people. That is holiness. Amen? Holiness na, when you, when you display love to others, when you help those in need, That is a display of God's character. That is displaying holiness. Amen? And then last. Last na. No. Ingun verse 23. For you have been born again, but not to a life that will quickly end. Your life will last forever because it comes from the eternal living word of God. As scripture say, people are like grass. Their beauty is like flower. In the field, the grass withers and the flower fades, but the Lord, the word of the Lord remains forever. And that word is the good news that was preached to you, Ikon si Peter. Here, Peter reminds his audience that they have been given a new life, that they are born again, born into the family of God. He's saying that you have been born into a new life in the spirit. As you have a spiritual birth. You are born again, but not to a life that will quickly end. And he's saying that you have been, no? Your, your new life, no, will last because it is from the eternal living word of God. It is through the word of God, the living word of God, the eternal living word of God that you were born again, that you were spiritually born. Nakaila ka sa gino, pinagi siyang pulong. Amen? No? And therefore, mo grow ka, ma-empower ka, also, pinaagi sa pulong sa ginoo. So, holiness is about yearning for the Word of God. Yearning for the Word. Spending time with the Word of God. Living the life God has called us to live is, no, is, is impossible without the guidance of God, without the guidance of the Lord through His Word. Without of the, the working of the Holy Spirit, pinaagi siyang pulong. Amen? Muna nga, dapat sa kanunay, kanunay tang nag-spend time sa pulong sa ginoo. How will you know the intention of God if dili po ta magbasa? Amen? Muna nga, ingon sila, di lang ko magbasa, Pastor, para di ko kahibaw. <laughs> no, pero kabaluta, that ignorance of the law excuses no one. <laughs> But the thing is, No, more than the the messages of judgment the Bible, even the, the the messages of judgment, those are still messages of love. Ingon sila, if if God is love, why include hell in the Bible? No, I believe the message of hell is still a message of love. God doesn't want you to be there. Mo nang giwarningan kadaan sa ginoo nga ayaw dito. Amen. That is still a message of love. Hello. Amen. No, so, it's impossible to live a holy life without the Word of God. That's why dapat nag ta, nag ta sa pulong sa ginoo, nag time ta sa pulong sa ginoo. The writer of Psalm asked in no, Psalm 119 verse 9, ingon siya, how can a young man keep his way pure? Ang tobag, ingon siya, by living according to your Word. Is gutan na to last week. Trials refine us. Trials refine our faith. So is spending time with, the, with, with God through His Word refines our character. Amen? As I said a lot of times before, no, sa ay mafrustrata tungod kay margwa man ko na usab, di man gyapon ako ni mausab, no, I repent and then I repeat. Believe in the power of God's Word. No, say, ang, ang pulong sa ginoo, ang kita, waman, makikistorya ang ginoo, oy. As really, dili, problema ang pakikistorya sa ginoo. Ang problema, o say, ang atong pagpaminaw. 
Pirmi ka doon ay mensahe ang ginoo sa imuha. Ang problema ko sa di ka maminaw. Di ka maminaw. No, apil ko. Na mga panahon sa di ka maminaw. No, na mensahe gusto ipadayag ang ginoo but we choose not to listen. Hello, let us yearn for the word of God. Amen? It refines our character, ang pulong sa ginoo. So again, musay ma frustrate ta tungod kay murag walay na usa but you know what? Uban maingon nga basa ko Bible pero usay di man gyapon nako ma-apply. No. Hello. <laughs> Muna na ba tong huna-huna? Exon, as I've said this before a lot of times. Unsaon nimo pagbuwag sa ganang gitunaw no bitaw nimo nga kape? Unsaon nimo pagpatinaw sa tubig? nga magkuha, ma, ma, ma remove ni mo ang 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 kape sa tasa unsaon sirit na mita <laughs> dunga kag tubig no para mo tinaw imong kape and reading the word of god no murag dili kay nimo mabati nga dunay change dili kay nimo mabati nga nakay nakatonan <laughs> Marag huwag mo ko'y nakuha. Ay, nagbasa ko, marag huwag mo ko'y nakuha. Marag huwag may nausab. Of course, you have to pray. No? No, pray for guidance. Kaya di man saan anong masabda ng word kung wala. Wala po'y guidance sa gino. No? But reading the word of God, spending time sa word sa gino is like a, an ice cube a day to your cup of coffee. An ice cube a day to your cup of coffee. No? Di kayo niyong makita. Pero the, the, the more you spend time sa word sa gino, the more you are changing. The more you are aligning sa pulong sa gino. The more you are aligning to, the more you are more sensitive sa heart sa gino and sa spirit sa gino. Amen? And then, quoting Isaiah 40, verse 6 to 8, Peter reminds ano, the believers that everything in this life, possession, no, possessions, accomplishments, people, will eventually fade away and disappear. Only God's will, no? Only God's word, only God's work are permanent. So we must stop grasping the temporary and begin focusing our time and our money and energy on the, no? On, on things that will last. The word of God, our eternal life, the Kanginoong Iso Cristo. Let us not, no? Uh, Grasp, no, let us stop grasping the temporary and begin focusing our time, our money, our resources. Yeah, sa mga butang eternal. Amen? No? So let us yearn for the word of God. Ingon siya, ang tanang butang mahanaw, apan ang pulong sa ginoo, magpabilin hangtod sa kanturan. Amen? So holiness is about spending time sa word sa ginoo. No. Holiness is not about the do's and don'ts. It's about reflecting the whole being of God. All the things that make God, God. It's, it's, it's what holiness is. No, A reflection of who God is, the character of God. Sa atong matagos sa kaginabuhi. Amen? No, so... Unsa may atong i-reflect there? He is our heavenly Father. No? We are to reflect him as his children. Amen. He is the, the no, he ingon siya, he redeemed us, he ransomed us by his blood. Therefore, he is our owner. His love, no? He 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 loves us so much that no, he offered himself to die on the cross for us. No, so we reflect his nature. He himself is love. Amen. In the Bible, God is love. And we reflect that by loving others. And he is the word who became flesh. Let us keep yearning. We are to desire him and walk with him. Walk in the word of God. Amen. No, so let us pursue holiness. Let us reflect God. Amen. In closing, probably for some of us, we're thinking, 
That's impossible. And that's true. It's impossible. With men, it's impossible to live a holy life. Tungkol kayo sa eyes, wrong ang concept na sa holiness. At itong concept sa holiness is ka ng mga bawal, no? Holiness is reflecting who God is. Dapat maliwat na sa ginoo. Because He is our Heavenly Father. Meaning we have the desire to honor Him. We have the desire to please Him. We offer our lives to Him. We love others. We display His love no, to the people through us. And we yearn for His Word on, no, daily. We continue to spend time in His presence. It's impossible to live a holy life with our own strength and our own wisdom. Probably you're saying, I'm already, no, I have already failed. I am, no, I'm, I'm, maulaw na ko sa ginoo umuduhol. And the good thing about the Lord is, He is a father that always welcomes His son. No, whenever his son returns. And probably this message is for you. He is calling you to return. He is calling you to come back. He is calling you to be restored. He is calling you to be back. Di asa yung tilan, di asa yung gamot, di asa yung kabubuton. No? So this morning, I, I challenge you to come before his presence. To come before his throne of grace. To come before Him in, in, in humility and say, God, I can't do this with my own strength. Empower me, Lord. Empower me, God. Through Your Word. Your eternal Word. Your eternal and living Word. Exon. God already displayed His love by dying on the cross for you and me. He runs us by His blood. Walay rason na dili takatugyan sa atong kinabuhi po di sa ginoo. This morning, let us choose to honor our Heavenly Father. Let us choose to offer our lives to Him. Let us choose to forgive those who offended us. O sa hay, because... Those people offended us. Mungunauna ta, ah, mo na na sila. When do we think of those people who offended us, we, we, mo ni bantayanan kayo, no? Sometimes we are not aware that we are also hurting others because we are offended. Ingon siya, love, ingon si Peter, love each other. It's, it's, Pwedeng ang unforgiveness may mong ground sa enemy to inflict something, to inflict uh, guilt, to inflict fear sa atong matag-usaga kinabuhi o kasing-kasing. And this time, this message is for you. God is calling you to love the brethren. Forgive those who offended you. Reach out once again. Come back to the, 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 the call of God that He has for you. Read His Word. Spend time sa pulong sa ginoo. Don't miss out. Come on. Just close your eyes. Bow your heads. And say a prayer before the Lord this morning. Lord, we ask for forgiveness sa mga butang na mong nahimo nga wala na kapahimuod sa mga tubangan. Sa mga butang ginoong, uh, sa tanang butang, sa among ginabuhi, nga wala na kapahimuod kanimo sa unahuna, sa pulong, sa buhat. Forgive us, Lord. And we just want to respond to the love that you have for us karun nga kapuntagon. We want to live a life that is worthy of the calling that we have received. Not because of the fear of judgment, but because we know that you loved us so dearly that you offered your life for us. And Lord, for, for there are people watching this streaming, they are struggling uh, emotionally. 
they are struggling for some they are struggling financially because of this pandemic Lord I pray that you will just intervene Diyan silang sitwasyon right now I pray that you will replace assurance and comfort diyan silang kasing-kasing For some they are struggling physically with with some sickness Lord thank you for healing them in Jesus name Lord I pray that courage will come out sa among mutag usa ka kinabuhi and as we end this streaming you know as, after watching this video God and after committing our lives dia kanimo you're gonna rejuvenate our passion for you that hope will be born sa among kinabuhi you know as we establish that relationship dia kanimo as we surrender to you everyone oh god right now this morning as they pray for surrender as they say god i surrender to you i surrender these emotions to you i surrender my life to you as they do that oh god karon nga kabuntagon i pray that your holy spirit will work in their lives in the mighty name of jesus oh hallelujah thank you lord for the hope that we have in you Thank you Lord that we are made holy diha kanimo by your blood by your word and by the power of your holy spirit that is at work in us I commit to you your people right now salamat gino sa matag usa nga nag watch nini nga video I pray that you will strengthen them you will provide everything ilang gikinahanglan ginoo and show yourself strong in their situation Continue to provide wisdom niya kanila and strength of character, O Lord. Talaygon ka sa walay katapusan. We give you glory. We give you honor and the praise. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Maayong buntag na tong tanan. No, I just wanna encourage us. No, please, if you haven't no visited our page, no, kung first time ni nimo nagvisit sa page. Or nagwatch among streaming, please comment, no. And in first time, sa comment section, and uh, people will be reaching out to you. No, we will be reaching out to you. If you have questions, message us a page, and don't forget to like, no, our Facebook page, Blessed Hope Christian Fellowship, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is also, no, posted with the uh, ni caption above this video, no. So please. No, uh, i-click ang link and then subscribe for uh, uh pwede ninyo i-review ang mga sermons in the past, no, mga videos in the past, pwede ninyo i-review sa YouTube. So, please subscribe sa atong YouTube channel, no? We are living in the digital na nga era, so uh, we are communicating digitally, so let us continue to connect and nourish ourselves, no, through this this digital platforms. God bless you all. Mayong udto ninyong tanan.